I made this little um, ephemera pocket pouch um, pattern for you all and I'm going to post it on the website. So I thought I would show you how to put it together to make it easier for you guys. Um, first of all, there is three files that you'll have to download and you can print them out and then you can use them as templates for your cardstock. Um, I cut mine with my uh, Cameo, so it's got um, all of the score lines are already done for me and everything, so, um, but you'll have to go ahead and score yours by hand. So what you'll wanna do is cut out the base and the lid, which each of them have are named, um, the files are named that. So you'll wanna cut the base and the lid out of a heavier cardstock. This is the heaviest one I had. And then you'll wanna cut the one that is called cover. Um, you'll want to cut each of these pieces. Um, these ones are the ones that are folded. They have score lines um, on the file as well. Um, so the card out of the cardstock um, that you want to cover your base pieces, you cut the cover pieces out of. Um, there's two of, one for the front and one for the back, and the front one has um, this little V in it, and the back one is just straight like this. Um, but they're stacked on top of each other on the file, so you just cut one square and cut the little V out of one of them. Okay. So then you'll just fold your um, these are the side pieces. They're the little accordion pieces that are going to go on the side of your folder. And you'll want to make sure that um, whichever side that you want to be out, you have the back and the front in a way that you can glue them into the box, the little folder. So this is the base of the folder. And I'm just going to fold it on the score lines. First of all, I'm gonna glue the pieces on. They're supposed to have a little bit of a um, uh, edge around them so you can see the underneath part. The, um, the card stock that I used underneath is um, metallic, so I thought it was really pretty. It's kind of a purple metallic, and this, um, This cardstock that I used for the cover, a lot of it has purple on it. This one doesn't, it's pink and blue, but I think it's really pretty with this. See the back of this one has purple. I really don't like this design very much. I think it's a little over the top. So I used the back, which I think is prettier. It's, my, it's more my style anyway. So I decided just to use a tape runner for um, putting these pieces on. Um, I have some glue, but I'm not sure that it's actually strong enough or that it wouldn't take too long to glue or to stick to the pieces, so I'm just using a tape runner instead. So I did the base like this. Can you see that? <laughs> I've told this up a little. So this is going to be the front. And this will be the back. And here's the lid. And I'm gonna put this. The reason that I put a little hole here is that I'm going to use that to mark the spot where I'm gonna sew um, a button. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so that we can wrap some twine around it to hold it closed. This little thin piece goes on the in the center. I love these pineapples. If you guys know anything about me at all, you know that I love pineapples. 
I used to work for a Hawaiian tour company. Oh shoot, I put this in the wrong spot. And then I ripped it. Oh, I have to glue it down. I gotta be more careful with what I'm doing. Okay, and so this just looks left like this. That's gonna be the back. So this part, I think I'll put, okay, so this is the back of the base and this is the back of the um, lid. And I'm gonna glue these two together like this. So I'm putting that back right along the edge of where that score line is. Now, you can see that the box goes together like this. So now I'm gonna take these little accordion bits and they're going to go here. Can you see? Like this. I was sad that the pineapples were on the opposite side of the cute girls with the hats because I really liked those. Now you're on my video, dear. I just came home from work. I just fed her. Yeah. The dog's lying to him and telling him she hasn't been fed yet. So I just put glue along each side of the accordion. Can you see? And there's the other side. Here's the front of the box. I just have to put some little buttons here and wrap twine around them and it's all ready to hold our little bits. <laughs> 